But even as COVID concerns emptied office towers downtown, the prospects for Milwaukee skyline are still bright and dynamic. So too is the future for a local design firm that just earlier this month announced it is opening another office. You may not know the name Rinka, but you can't miss their work. Just look up. So this, this is the kind of space that we typically didn't see in office environments in the past. The River One development on the south side is now coming to life. That'll be like kind of gardens. Architects Matt Rinka and Steve Morales showed us around. When you get to walk around finally inside a building that you help design, I can't imagine what that feels like. It's very humbling. It, it really is because you, we have these ideas and these visions and we work as a team to put them together and walking through them, it really kind of reminds you of how much of an impact you have. As we viewed the downtown skyline from this Rinka designed building, these men see not only what is. I still like the U.S. Bank building <laughs> just because I grew up with it. You know, yeah, like, I, like I like it, like it as well. It. They also see what could be. I see huge opportunity for Milwaukee skyline to continue to go vertical. Going vertical, seeing construction to go up, you must first go down. Early foundation work now underway on the Rinka designed Couture. We wanted to design a building on that site that represented that uh, as a part of the community, as well as a place where someone looked at the building and said, I want to live there. <laughs> I want to live there on the lakefront. I want that to be the backdrop to uh, the art museum and discovery world. Uh, and for us, um, that was a challenge that we took very seriously. Yeah, you got uh, Santiago yeah, right. Calatrava in You're the right. neighborhood there. Exactly, uh, yeah, kitty corner. Kind of good company. <laughs> but Rinka and his team already have a plan to outdo themselves. And right across the street, this piece of land is owned by the state. It hasn't even been sold yet. But the idea for what it could become is truly stunning. When you think about the possibility for that site, does it just like crank you up? Yeah, I mean, we get so <laughs> excited. I, I mean, Go ahead, we're, like, geek out on here a little bit. <laughs> Our entire team gets like completely geeked out about it. So, um, but yes, it, it should be a landmark uh, project, not just for the city, but for the entire state. The state is shopping the site as MKE Gateway, something that could attract a major company headquarters or mixed use hotel, residential, retail type development. Rinka says the site could support the tallest building in Wisconsin, 50, even 60 stories. The fact that it's on the lakefront, it's in downtown, it's connecting uh, the CBD to the lakefront, to the third ward, it's going to be uh, a project that will, should draw international attention for whatever it ultimately becomes. The Modern and the Deer District outside Pfizer Forum success stories for this local firm whose Reach extends well beyond downtown. Suburban developments, including Drexel Town Square and lakefront neighborhoods in Oak Creek and Port Washington, all part of the portfolio that continues to grow out and up. We're future thinkers, so when we look at a city, we don't necessarily just see what's there currently, but we want to we envision what's going to what we'd like to see there in the future. Rinka has projects in 15 different states. So much business in South Florida, the company is opening its newest office there. The Couture here in Milwaukee is expected to open in fall of 2023.